is the best path forward here for the United States, as well as for Israel and the rest of the world. It's worth thinking about that. The stakes are higher than many Americans understand. It's easy to imagine several other nations getting pulled into the conflict between Israel and Hamas. Those countries would include Russia, Iran, Turkey, China, Saudi Arabia, the Gulf states, and possibly many more. Some of those countries might take our side aligned with Israel, but most of them would not, and that would be a problem. The U.S. military is weaker than it's been in at least 50 years since the end of Vietnam. Exhausted by two pointless conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan, internally divided by identity politics, mismanaged by buffoonish hacks at the Pentagon, our services are in obvious disarray. Check the enlistment numbers. Nobody wants to join. But it's worse than that. The government that funds our army is bankrupt. The man who leads it is senile. Now is not the time for a world war. We would lose. But our commander in chief has no idea. Watch this tape from Sunday as he smirks while bragging that America is so rich, there is no limit to our power. We can wage as many wars as we want. America, for God's sake, the most powerful nation in the history, not in the world, in the history of the world, the history of the world. We can take care of both of these and still maintain our overall international defense. We have the capacity to do this, and we have an obligation to. We are the essential nation, as to, to, to Paris, phrase the former Secretary of State. And if, if we don't, who does? The full nation in the history of the world. You can imagine the Roman Senate issuing a statement just like that on the morning the Visigoths sacked their city. Pride goes before destruction. That has always been true. It always will be true. How do we keep our country from being destroyed?